Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Rotator Run and today I'm gonna be doing a difficulty 5 run. Now people, before I go into that, have been telling me to play uh, with accessibility options and I can tell you after 10 failed runs within uh, about 10 minutes, uh, this is literally impossible because opponents with 50% movement speed and also impossible die just instantly kill you. Uh, this is very, very, very hard because opponents not dying alone is enough for you to die from opponents killing you instantly. And this is maybe doable, but after losing to this five times, I'm just, I, I just don't want to do it. Okay, I, I just want to do, don't, don't want to deal with this. Uh, and if anything, I would say, oh no, the resume, no, 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 this is, uh, this is a failed run. Come on, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, after after doing, you know, those, I have to say that uh, the dev definitely, definitely needs to stop nerfing things. Because this, in my opinion, is the most powerful character, and he got nerfed to the ground, and I'm unable to win with this guy the anything pretty much up to this point. And this is the first attempt I'm doing at everything 100%. And uh, yeah, let's actually do it. So, what does this guy do? 10 harvesting, 1% damage for every 5 materials you have. That is uh, the win con. We want to amass money to get damage. And then you start with one piggy bank. This is the nerf that you got hit by. He used to get 25% of your money at the end of each shopping phase. Gets added to your money. Now he has the piggy bank, which is 20% of that. But that is not the nerf. The nerf is the fact that he starts with a piggy bank. Because now, you cannot find the piggy bank to increase it from 25 that it used to be to 45. Now it's you are stuck at 20 forever. So... He's dead. And then he gets 50% item increase, which of course kills him even more because every time you buy something for 500, you just kill your own build up. Uh, like all of this is gone. So yeah, it's just uh, the character is, isn't what he used to be, but we're going to try to win with him. Digital difficulty 5, new enemies appear. Inflation is higher. Very fun, of course. Enemies are stronger. Classic enemies drop less materials. Also very fun, of course. And then two boss appear. This is actual fun. I do enjoy that we get two boss. Like first and fifth is the best ones. Second and fourth is trash. And third one is a classic difficulty increase, whatever. So let's get into this and hope we're going to win. Now, why am I doing this? Well, I'm doing the hard run here because uh, when I asked between do you want to see more fun runs or do you want to see more um, uh, challenge runs, uh, you know, difficult runs, people were for more fun runs. <laughs> and most of you guys said more fun runs. Nobody cared about difficulty, challenge or whatever. But some people said once in a while play difficulty, uh, play in harder, one range seems very nice, play in hard difficulty. And uh, yeah, you know what? This is the once in a while. Uh, next one's going to be in a year. Let's get the SMG because this is going to be an SMG build. In case you have not seen this build, let's buy this too. In case you have not seen this, I have done a god run on this. The first time I played this character when he still was busted and not actually nerfed. And um, uh, you can see the card up here appear, hopefully, editor, if you remember to do that. And um, yeah, then uh, yeah, that run was, in my opinion, my most powerful one ever done in this game, like uh, by far not even comparable to anything else uh, and i think that run could have beaten anything and everything in this game but uh, it's impossible to get now because he is nerfed to the ground and he's dead uh, and i will explain some things here in a moment range damage yes um eight percent there's no let's get range damage or movement speed let's get six percent movement speed movement speed is good let's go here let's roll and uh let's roll again and for another speed let's go let's continue so uh, things to explain. What I wanted to explain. Well, about the single player game things. Uh, what I was doing. Because I was, do uh, as I said, this is like my 10, 15 attempt or whatever. It's definitely a lot of attempts. Uh, not with everything 100% though. This is my first attempt at everything 100%. And if I actually win this with the first attempt here, then I will, um, what is it called? Then I will definitely lay it down at the end about the fact that this guy got nerfed to the ground. Because what I, what I want to say here and uh, very polite and very, uh, you know, uh, like in normal human being not not actually crazy uh, let's go with you know what i don't even care about defense man one day here range damage range damage smg roll for another range damage nope nope and i'm not gonna buy anything from the shop roll 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 one smg let's go and now i'm gonna talk about the rerolls before i talk about the the difficulty etc so this costs 94 right now okay and I, I didn't, I rerolled, although I, I could possibly not buy anything. And people have been telling me, right, I had like 15 coins and I rerolled to maybe find the SMG. And people have been telling me, why do you reroll, stop rerolling at the end when you don't have money? Or why do you reroll when, when you won't have money to buy anything else? Because uh, there is a free reroll incoming anyway. Yeah, that first two things. There are two reasons why you should you should always reroll in this game uh, for the rest of your money, if you even if you can't buy anything, uh, unless the reroll costs like fifty coins, okay. But if the reroll costs like ten coins, five coins, or rather, you should definitely reroll if you're searching for something. And the reason is twofold. Reason one is that the whole idea of not re-rolling because a pre-roll is incoming is coming from auto butlers that lock down your whole shop. This game does not lock down your whole shop. By the way, this is guaranteed uh, rare, so we're gonna go for the two melee damage. Here we go to range damage. 
SMG, we're gonna lock that down again, and let's continue rolling for maybe find the... You know what, This it's not worth it to roll right now. Yeah, we're not gonna roll here. Because uh, the, the chance... Uh, it's not worth it to re-roll only three slots. So, as I was saying, in this game, if you re-roll, if you, if you re-roll and then find something that you want, you lock down that one item that you want, and then the rest of the shop, you, you, you it still re-rolls. So, uh, what you're doing is you're trading off one slot of the next re-roll, not the whole re-roll. So, you're not even losing the whole value out of it. That, that's a reason one, okay? While in the other uh, auto battlers, of course, you do lose value out of locking down the shop because you lose the free re-roll. The second reason, which is more important and more specific to this game, is the fact that inflation exists. And because inflation exists, uh, when you buy an item and you lock it down, that thing does not get inflated. Oh, we buy that definitely, we, we take that guaranteed. Um, none of these. Four minutes damage. Give me range damage! Here we go. Two armor. I don't need that, I just need damage. 3D range might help us, it's damage related. Let's take this MG, especially at wave 6. Roll, re-roll, roll, here we go, no, re-roll, 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 found it, done. We're done, we're done. I should have bought the ticket when I had the chance, by the way. 6% of 100 is 6, mm, eh, maybe not, eh, whatever, doesn't matter. I'm not gonna buy anything ever again other than that SMG we just got. Which costs 100 plus, by the way, in comparison to the other one that cost 90 that I locked down in the shop, you realize? So, let me also give you an example so you understand why you should re-roll. Let's say you uh, have 10 coins, and the re-roll costs 10. You press the reroll and an SM, uh, and let's say a purple minigun appears and it costs 200. You can't buy it, of course. So you lock down the shop and you go into the next wave. And in the next wave, you 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 beat the wave and then you go by the shop and the end you get the money, right? And the shop freely rerolls. It gives you free reroll for the three other slots that you have unlocked. So you lose one reroll pretty much, but you have the SMG at 200. That's scenario A. That's the scenario I'm actually doing. That's that's why I play the game. If you didn't like, honestly, no, I want just one damage. Let's go attack speed. That's gonna be more important later. Uh, let's get this. Let's reroll again. Again. No, I should not have rerolled. No, 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 no. Stop rerolling. Stop rerolling. Stop rerolling. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. I, I, that was a mistake. That, that was a mistake. Example two. You have ten coins and you don't reroll. You keep those ten coins because you don't need it. Uh, you do the way. You do. You do the next wave and then you go back to the shop. And uh, let's say somehow randomly, uh, you know, the free reroll also gives you the minigun because theoretically you should do that. Yeah, that, that minigun is not gonna cost 200. That minigun is gonna cost 250, 220, 230, I mean, depends. I, I don't know the exact amount of uh, inflation, but it's also a bit of randomness, right? Sometimes you find an item for 50, sometimes you find it for 33, and it's like in the same wave itself. So, yeah, sometimes, yeah, it, it's just gonna inflate. And if that inflation is 10% or more, which I think it is more than 10%, but let's say it is 10% or more, then, uh, yeah, you will not be able to buy, you're not, you will not be able to add, you lost money. The thing that you think actually saves you money, uh, makes you lose money. Raise damage against range, yes! 60% speed, I buy that. Uh, I'm not gonna roll, I'm not gonna do anything. Actually, no, 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 no. We're not gonna buy anything. No, only money. Only money, only money, nothing else. 96 damage, 97 damage. Man, you know what? After 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 attempting that 200% uh, more life opponents, 200% more damage opponents, etc. I'm so used to about to die. Like, I, I I died from 25 life. Like, insta-kill. Boom. But something touched me and instantly dead. So, <laughs> right now I'm super defensive about everything pretty much. Like, I, I got used to this run and this should be a win. I mean, the way I'm seeing this, this should be a win. This is one of my better runs, I would say. Most of the time I get at wave 8 with about 6 damage per shot. So, the fact that I'm doing 7s and 9s definitely is more than average. It's unbelievable that the time I decided to not play with accessibility option, the game just decided to be like, you know what, now, now we're actually gonna give you the items that you want. And the thing is that accessibility options don't even affect how much money you gather, it don't even affect how much, you know, what you find, etc, etc, etc. So, a bit uh, unlucky on that part. Damage, uh, 7%, max HP, 2%. I don't want this. I want money. Oh, this is a guaranteed 3 range damage. Yep, here we go. And uh, we're gonna not reroll, we have the things we want, let's go. I don't need to do anything. Uh, of course, we still have a pistol, but I mean, if later I find an SMG randomly, it just appears, I will just buy it, and that's that, I guess. So we don't care about the fact that I only have a pistol. Let's just continue going around. And now I'm gonna talk about the fact of nerfing things in single player games, but I'm gonna talk it in a constructive manner. So, uh, this game has accessibility option to make the game easier and harder. First of all, if you. Uh, first of all, right now there is not a single character, at least in my opinion that you can beat the game at difficulty 5 with accessibility options being everything at 
and everything at max. Like 200% the points move faster and everything. All, all of those. Like all of the accessibility options, the highest possible uh, difficulty settings. Now you might say, Yosef, that's not the way the accessibility options are there. You're not supposed to actually play with everything at 200%. And I can agree with you with that because I tried it and it's literally impossible to win. But still, in my opinion, there should be a character that actually allows you to do that. Like right now, you're, you're uh, like right now it's impossible. Right now it's completely impossible to do. Um, so nerfing a character that could have done it is just shooting yourself on the foot. Even if you say that the character is going to be easy mode, though. Uh, no, we're going to throw that away. To my harvesting lack. Uh, 10 attack speed, I would say. Let's reroll. To range damage, I don't even think about it. We found the SMG that I was talking about. Got it, done. The run's ready. Let's go. Uh, so right now, it's literally impossible to win. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to go back to main menu. As far as I know, you can resume. And then I'm going to increase the accessibility options. Because right now, I don't have access to them, right? Yeah, right now, they're not here. But theoretically, I mean, there is a good chance I'm going to throw the whole run away and whatnot. But theoretically, this is so unlucky, by the way. The fact that I, I'm, I'm doing that. Ah, you know what? We're going to see. We're going to see. So, let me say the following. You might say uh, the accessibility options are mostly to, you know, change the game around or mostly have, uh, you know, a fun time. But the thing is, regardless of accessibility option, like, forget the accessibility option. That was just an example. The fact that nothing can beat right now fully maxed out accessibility with level 5. Forget that. Uh, stick on something else. This character here was so powerful that you can most likely beat everything, right? You should always have a character like that in your game when you have a lot, of course. If you have only three characters, then no, you don't need a busted character. But when you have like 20 characters, you definitely want to have one busted character at least in the game. Because the thing is that some people are not able to beat everything, right? And I'm not saying that, oh, you're stupid or something. No, of course not. <laughs> like, why would I even say that? But the thing is, for life, we're taking that. That's a lot of healing for us. And uh, we're not buying anything. Let's go. Um, some, some people can just straight up not beat some things, right? And me included. I, I'm not a god. I, sometimes I can straight up not beat some things. I, I Maybe a character later down the path is literally impossible for me to beat because I don't know what to do or something. X, Y, Z. You know, you, you're not always gods. And let's not even stick to Brotato. Maybe, I don't know, Europa Universalis or um, uh, Civilization VI or, you know, random games. I'm, saying, I'm talking about random games. All of these games, maybe you're not able to beat them in the higher difficulty. But you want to, right? You want to be the guy that beat it. I beat it in hard. Now, you might say, but Sift, you can easily just go into the accessibility options if you want to beat the game in the highest difficulty and then just put everything under 25% life and 25% damage and just win. Yeah, but that's not the same thing. It's not the same thing for a player that plays the game. Um, beating the game on its intended difficulty, even with a character that is intended to be busted, in comparison to actually beating the game in uh, quote-unquote higher difficulty, but actually having changed the game rules around so you can beat the game on your own. Yeah, do you understand what I'm meaning? Like, what you're trying to achieve? Two range damage. 99 uh, money. No, two range damage. What's better, though? This is 3%. No, two range damage is better. Three armor. I think I should take the three armor, but we are damage only. So... Uh... This is 7%. Uh, this is actually 3.5. Oh, it's got attack speed. Now SMG. <laughs> um, this is a damage boost, actually. My blue do 20. My 17. Is that a, that much of a damage boost, though? It's a double damage boost. It's going to boost these two. Let's buy it later. Let's buy it later. Let's buy it later. It's not going gonna, gonna to increase in price anyway. Uh, While well, we will increase how much money we gain. So let's just continue. I'm not sure if you guys agree or disagree with this, by the way. Uh, because the thing is, you need, in my opinion, you need to have something for people that just want to break the game. Right? You need to have something for those guys. And that something is not make the game easier. Okay? <laughs> like, it's never make the game easier. It's always about the character, the player being more powerful or the player being weaker. That is always the discussion. It's not about the game being easy, the game being beatable, the game being XYZ. It's about every player has to have something that he can win the game with, right? That's why most of the time when you see a new character in games, you have the mage, you have the melee guy, you have the ranged guy, because you are trying to give everybody something that they can, you know, enjoy, right? So why do people understand that? Because everybody understands that, right? Everybody understands that. If I play, every, every game is going to have a mage, it's going to have the ranger, it's going to have the, the, the archer guy, it's going to have the melee guy, the tank, the, the healer, you know, the, the more characters you introduce, there are all these specific ranged damage, of course. Uh, the more heroes you introduce, the more things there are. This is a guaranteed uh, purple, so we're going to go for the three range damage. Uh, once again, flat damage is very important when you do a percentage base uh, scaling on your own. 3,000 coins and my scaling is at 100%. Isn't, uh, it isn't what it used to be. I remember. Back in the day, French remembers. 
But let's continue. So yeah, my opinion, that's my opinion pretty much. Uh, I, I don't think I need to analyze it even further, but it is what it is. Now I'm thinking about at wave 15 to do a thing, but there is a good chance my thing is gonna backfire because I haven't tested it. And the thing is, at wave 15, I'm gonna try to maybe go back to the main menu because as you saw, you can resume the run. Go back to the main menu and um, yeah, go back to the main menu and then just straight up you know, go to accessibility and just bring everything to the max. E even the movement speed, even the movement speed. And if I lose the run at that point, then I'm gonna be like, yeah, you see, it's impossible. <laughs> almost died there. I almost died there. This is almost impossible already. Uh, I'm a glass cannon, by the way. I don't have that much defense and uh, my damage isn't even that high either. Like 3D damage is not enough most of the time. Man, I'm afraid about this whole idea of actually increasing the difficulty. Ah, if I get like 10,000, maybe we're gonna see. Two range damage, of course, not even thinking about it. SMZ still like that down. I'm not gonna buy anything, let's go. I'm gonna get this MG at some point. But not now. When the point becomes important. Like, the idea is, I want to buy that SMG when the money it reduces my damage by is not gonna hurt me that much. And the thing is, by the way, there is also another reason. Oh, I want padding. Where's padding? I need to find padding. If I find padding, then I'm gonna definitely go to accessibility and just bring it up to the thousand. Because padding is gonna give me like um, right now at 8,000, it's it's good. It gives you 100 life. So, <laughs> and we will get to 8,000 for sure. The thing is, I just need to find it randomly. About the money thing, I was trying to say, uh, the later I buy this MG, the less it's gonna cost me because those 150 coins that it costs um, is gonna become plus 20%, plus 20%, plus 20%, plus 20%. So it's like uh, scaling money that it's gonna lose me the money I buy the moment I buy it. So the, the later I buy it, the less waves of money gaining it's gonna cost me pretty much. And the, as I said, inflation isn't really, it's not affected by inflation, but so that doesn't matter. It's 27 life, man. If I die right now, I just straight up leave the game. Uh, let's go with three armor, I would say. Let's buy this and uh, let's continue. 500 plus, 188 damage. Ah, this used to be like a thousand plus. But whatever, let's continue. When I'm gonna be start, when I start doing 100 damage per shot, then we should be pretty much there. Actually, I can just buy the SMG at the very, very end. Yeah, I can just buy the SMG at the very, very, very end. And I don't think we're gonna go into accessibility option just to destroy everything. Because, uh, once again, uh, one random bullet and we're dead. I have never gotten to wave 15, by the way, on the on the everything 200%. Uh, so I can tell you right now, this wave does more than 30 damage on everything insane. Uh, as, as I have gotten hit by a 25 damage hit, in the everything insane mode and just died instantly. So uh, we definitely do not want to increase the difficulty right now because, oh, 15 damage shot. What? What, this is already crazy. What? I need lifesteal, man. I need lifesteal right this moment. If I get, oh, do I have lifesteal? No, I don't think I have lifesteal. I think I just ate food. What, 15 damage shot, man. It's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's a glass cannon for you. Destroy everything, man. 6,000 coins, let's go. Range damage on, yes, we take that. SMG is still like that down. Let's continue. I'm asking money to 103D8. I'm thinking about maybe increasing the difficulty only at the very, very end. I don't know, man. I said that I'm gonna do that wave 15, but the thing is that I don't want to get one shot from a random bullet. That 15 damage was gonna be 3D and we would have died. And that's how it goes, by the way, in hard difficulties. Imagine all of these having double life collapsing onto you, and if anything touches you, you die. And you can't even protect yourself from it. I mean, you can protect yourself if you get like 60% dodge or whatever, but otherwise you can't really protect yourself from a random bullet that hits you. Uh, other than the fact that you can avoid it, of course. Uh, let's continue. You know what this game doesn't have? Uh, there are some relics that this game definitely is missing. Like, there is an item missing that is uh, that could have been revived. First of all, there is no revive. That's very weird to me. Uh, although, once again, uh, revive is mostly for high difficulty levels. So that you don't lose all your progress. Another thing that this game doesn't have is bubble, like a shield. The first hit you take in a wave gets negated. That could be an item that some builds care about, some builds don't. Uh, especially in higher levels, once again. The items that have to do with being able to beat higher difficulty levels are things that this game doesn't have. Damage and lifestyle against engineering. Uh, or against 93 coins. This is 100 coins, which is 120, which is... Uh, this is 3% damage. 3% damage or 6% damage? I'm gonna take the lifesteal. That's what I care about. And I have 6% lifesteal, I just realized. Uh, let's get movement speed so I can avoid some things. SMG, still lock it down. Let's continue. <laughs> I could take this. Imagine paying 500 for this thing. Let's continue. Uh, I'm gonna throw away a million... Uh, I'm gonna throw a million coins. Okay, now we're destroying the mummies. It is still not a one-shot. If I'm not one-shotting mummies, I'm not strong enough. You know what? Maybe for the memes, I could... 
increase the difficulty at the very final wave. No, we're gonna die, man. The bosses uh, do more damage than normally anyway. The bosses are gonna do... Actually, we're gonna get one shot from the boss, by the way. And if we lose from the boss, I'm gonna laugh. And then we're gonna end the video there. <laughs> like, uh, this video is not getting deleted anymore. Like, uh, sometimes I'm like... And if, if I die before wave 10, I just straight up delete the video. Now I'm at wave 17, I don't care anymore. Let's just, let's just actually play the game and hope for the best. And uh, I think you guys can pretty easily see the difference in power level from my last run, right? I hope you guys saw the last run because, in my opinion, it was a god run and I loved it. But this is more of a let's play the challenge mode. And honestly, I'm not really gonna play it. Oh, somebody mentioned something that was very, very, very uh, correct. Somebody said when I asked about difficulty or fun uh, that they don't want me to play difficult because I'm gonna be salty and I'm gonna be um, 105 coins. Let's go. 29. Ah, let's take the tree, whatever. 12% dodge. That's a lot of defense. To range damage, I'm crazy. Uh, let's lock this down. Let's continue onwards. That's my money right now. We're at 383%. Well, that sounds good. That sounds good. We're doing uh, 76, 72 damage. Nice. 70, 80, 87 on the blue ones. 87 on the blue ones and 73 on the small ones. So I'm gonna change two of my gray ones into two blue. Yeah, so as long as those 87 stay high up, I mean, at this point, those 100 coins are 3% damage or something, so uh, now I can actually buy the, the SMG. So yeah, let's just continue. We destroy everything. I mean, we're doing pretty much a good job here. Although, uh, now you might say, Sif, this is not the most powerful character, man. There are so many more powerful characters, you didn't even use the character correctly, or if I had this character, then this character would have had this and this. And you have to realize that the shop is still very expensive, so anything that you might have seen me do later uh, in other runs, like doing god runs, most of these things are not really present here. Oh, by the way, the comment I was talking about, he said that if I'm gonna do challenge runs, I'm gonna be salty and I'm gonna be like all the time saying the same, same things and again and again, and honestly, it's pretty much true, so I'm trying to avoid it on purpose. <sighs> Should I try extremely high difficulty now that I have about 400% damage? First of all, let's buy this, so let's combine two and buy this. I don't think that's gonna affect anything, literally. And, um, yeah, we're still doing 88s and 73s. And I'm thinking, theoretically, I could reroll and try to find some things. Like, I, I can just, I can easily reroll. Yeah, like, I have so much money here. Life still against knockback. This is a lot of life, or, or we die. But that's the thing. I, I don't really want to buy anything. That's the main issue. Now, should I try the thing I wanted to try? Or should I just go for the win? Let's try to just go for the win with this guy. I'm still like a glass cannon. With a thousand percent damage. And uh, maybe at the very, very final wave, I'm gonna attempt it. Yeah, maybe maybe at the very, very, very final wave. There is a chance here that um, this thing is not gonna actually happen. Like, there is a chance that I will try to do a change, and then it's gonna be very, very anticlimactic if the game just is like, oh, uh, you changed the accessibility settings, so therefore your save file does no longer care matter. Yeah, if that happens, then it's, it's gonna be a bit sad, but it is what it is. Uh, but I will still attempt it, man. Yeah, I, I, I have decided. I, I will attempt to increase the difficulty. Because honestly speaking, I think this is a win anyway. I don't think anybody disagrees with the fact that this is a win. Unless actually the bosses actually touch me. You know what? What should I do, man? What should I do? On the one hand, I know that I'm a glass count. If anything touches me right now, I'm dead anyway. Including the bosses. On the other hand, if I give the bosses 200% more life and 200% more damage, I, I will just straight up not kill them and die and lose too. Mm, I don't know, man. Now, that's also another issue when you try to go for challenging runs. How challenging should the challenge be? Speed against range. Honestly, this is a yes. And uh, this is a guaranteed purple. Yeah, this is a level 20, so we're gonna go for 3 range damage for sure. Especially with all that. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, 115 damage. These do a lot. Crown, this is the first time I'm seeing this. Then I was thinking, I was increased by an additional 100% at the end of the No! We could have had that in the god one! One on the SMG, by the way. Uh, is this worth it DPS wise? Let's see if this is worth it DPS wise. 115? 92? All of them do 113 now. And I increased one of those 92ers into a 113er. I think it was worth it. I mean, we lost like four times two or three damage. And we gained one 10 damage. I, I don't even know if it's worth it or not. I don't want to risk it. I just want to go and pull the trigger on the win. But I will test out if it's actually true. Okay, good thing I didn't risk it. Because we are still uh, exactly that. We are still gonna get one shot. We died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, I was a glass cannon. This character is dead, man. This character is completely dead. I, I no longer have fun with this character. Uh, we will go back into playing the game as I used to play it, so we will have fun in general. I have, like, ideas of runs I want to do. I want to do a bunch of different things. Definitely not on higher difficulty settings, but let me actually try really quickly here what I wanted to try in the first place. So, uh, let's play whatever character. It doesn't really matter. Let's play this guy.
da, 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 da. Yeah, we get them down. Come on, a bit faster. Come on, guys. Go, 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 please. Come on. I just I just want to, you know, pass a stage. Now that's the, the first part here. These guys should be doing like two damage to me if I'm able to test. Alright, so it doesn't matter. And uh, now that we're gonna really quickly win. Let's see. Okay, 61. Whatever, it doesn't matter what I do here, Max Life. And now I'm gonna go escape. Uh, go to main menu. Return to menu. Yes. Options. Now make the accessibility crazy. Now go resume. And we are where we, are where we were. And now, uh, theoretically, let's just go into the wrong wherever. The opponent should be a lot faster. Nope. They are not affected. Yep, definitely not affected. And I can prove to you that they are not affected. Do you see these guys surviving? Yeah, do you see that they're surviving with three life? First of all, this is not the speed they should be. Let's actually, let me now restart. And now this is affected. Yeah, and now you're gonna see, first of all, these guys are surviving. They move faster. And the most important part is that the opponents, the, the gray opponents, are gonna be uh, surviving the hits. That's the most important part. Because the gray opponents normally have two life. So a double life of two is four. And uh, three damage is literally the cutoff point on that. So that, that's there's that, I guess. Uh, speed, whatever. Go again. And now you're gonna see they're gonna survive. Yeah, yeah, now they survive the first hit. Do you see how fast they move? Like, imagine imagine you play this game. That, that's why I didn't... Uh, that, that's, like, uh, deadly. Yeah, I, I just died already. Almost survived there. And you can definitely not go like, Oh, no, no, I'm gonna survive. And then you go, like, options. And you're like, Oh, everything is in mode. And then you go back to resume. And then it's like, nope. You're still at the, way, at the start of the way. Wait a minute. You can scum save? You can scum save in this game? I mean, I'm not gonna do it, but... Like, if, if your example, you play this in hard mode, and you're, like, at, five, at two life, and there are still 15 seconds remaining, and you see that you're... Oh, no, no, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying, boop. And then you're like, main menu. Yes. Resume. Back in the shop. Let's go. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I'm finding x-rays here. If you go to the shop, and then I roll. Let's say I buy this. I go into the... And then I do, like, uh, main menu. And I go back to the shop. Okay, at least at least this is not uh, scammable. Fair enough. Uh, which which should be the case, by the way. Not fair enough. That, that should exactly be how it is. Um, yeah. I don't know. I guess the only way, uh, the only reason to use this, by the way, is if you do something like this, and then you're like, uh, okay, let's go. Oh no, there was a bag in the shop. Wait a minute. Uh, I want the bag. I want the bag. And then you go like resume, and then you're like, you buy the bag, or, or you're like, uh, okay, roll, roll, roll. Okay, didn't find anything. Oh no, I, the ducky. I wanted to lock the ducky. Then you go back, and then you go here, and then you go like, lock the ducky, and then go. Like th that's the only way I can possibly imagine me using this. Otherwise, I, I don't think we're gonna use that ever. Uh, I mean, when I say I don't think, I mean I literally am not gonna use safe scamming ever. Uh, you cannot use it to re-roll anyway. So the only way that that is used without actually quote unquote cheating is by if you forgot to buy or if you forgot to lock something in the shop. And in my opinion, that is fair. I would like to hear opinions on this. And I would also like to hear opinions in general on everything that I mentioned. Uh, more specifically about the fact that, you know, this guy's trash now. <laughs> Actually, go back. You know, forget the opinions. Just go over and watch the, the god one with this guy that was just so awesome, in my opinion. But no, I do want to hear some opinions on the matter. I will continue playing on a difficulty one. Uh, mostly because on difficulty two, the inflation is the issue, right? If, if they should make it so... First of all, remove this and this. As I'm like that. Remove inflation, remove enemies, drop less material. That's it. Just do that. And you win. Uh, of course, uh, about the run I did previously with this guy, I know how I could win it, okay? I, I do understand how I could win it. I could easily, easily invested all of those 13,000 coins that I have, all of them into damage, range damage, health, armor, dodge, range, damage, attack speed, everything. I could have just invested everything into just a million different items, and uh, then we could have won, okay? Obviously. But I wanted to see if it's possible to win with this guy. And because if you're gonna see, uh, like, if you can win with this only, and nothing else. And, uh, yeah, it's dead right now, in my opinion. I think it's not possible anymore. So you should actually uh, just get a bunch of money, and then at wave 19, just dump it all. Dump all the money to get a bunch of other things, because it's better to have 150% attack speed, 100 life, uh, 10 armor, 30% dodge range, uh, dodge range, and 100% uh, more damage done than having just 600% more damage done. Uh, it would have been better if I had all the other things, of course. So there's that, I guess. Uh, the character is still enjoyable. Like you still amass money, but I I'm just sad that he got nerfed. And also this guy also got nerfed. Like uh, everything fun is getting nerfed. I, I just don't understand, man. I, I just don't. Straight up don't. Like one last point here. One last point. Let's say that this character is completely busted. Does the dev really think that people are going to play the same character a thousand times? And if the dev thinks that, let's say the dev is like, yes, I believe if one character is busted, then everybody's going to play that. Doesn't that show the dev that people want to play the broken character? Like, 
when 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 MOBAs balance their games and nerf the games, then the dev does actually not want the character everybody to use the same character and just the game is imbalanced, right? But when people want to play a character that's busted in a single player game, why does the dev fight the player like in single player games the devs are with the players like you want your players to have fun in mobas the devs are with the balance the dev is thinking about everything has to be balanced or so everybody is not happy because my main issue is that uh, if something is imbalanced people are gonna start screaming right but in single player games Nobody screams about something being busted. I'm not talking about the game being too easy or not, okay? I have to distinct this every time. The game being hard or not has nothing to do with having a character or, a, or, or something that is more busted than something else. And at the end of the day, I, I would always approach with the... Uh, if you're gonna kill something, then make something else busted approach. So every time you nerf something, you should always keep in your mind that you should find something that you buff at the same power level of the nerf you did. So, for example, a saver is trash, yes, but well-rounded could have had plus 20 max health, 20 movement speed, and 20 harvesting. But Sift, he would be completely busted, would he? He wouldn't have anything else. Uh, he would just have good stats at the beginning. Okay, maybe 20 harvesting is too much. But uh, maybe that example was also bad. Uh, for, I, I don't know, man. You could give Mugen 300% XP gain and 20% uh, less prices. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say extreme things here so that you guys understand that um, extreme things have to happen, man. When you, when you, when you just nerf the players you're in my opinion you're killing your own game by the way the game is awesome and it's definitely not dying and the dev is doing very good jobs with most of his things that he adds in the game uh, but you know the here and there the here and there anyway that's going to be it for today uh, honestly speaking i'm really excited about mods uh, not specifically character mods or weapon mods that make the game wonky and whatnot i want mods that actually affect my gameplay itself people have been telling me to try to find a mod Listen up, listen up what people have been telling me, uh, which is good, by the way. To find a mod that kills this and this line from Danger Difficulty 5. Like, they want me to play Danger 5, but without the inflation and enemies dropless material part, which I fully agree with, by the way. So, <laughs> that, that, that's the type of mods I want to start using. And I think there is also a person, I'm, I don't think I'm talking with him. There's a person trying to make a mod with the rainbow chest idea that I have. So, that's also something that might appear in the future. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, this time for real, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a loss, of course. Can't win every single one. But this is literally why I am avoiding this, because for me... As I said, 15 attempts, bro. It took me like... Bro, what, why am I saying, bro? I don't even know. Uh, yeah, I, 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 it took me like about three to four hours to just get this 25-minute run in. So, it's a bit frustrating. On the other hand, you might say, Yosef, that's your job. Yes, I do agree it's my job. But the thing is that it's a bit taxing to always do the same intro, the same introduction to the character, the same introduction to difficulty, the same introduction about the options, the same dialogue about what people said in the previous video, like previous comments, like it's, and it also starts feeling disingenuous and I, I really don't enjoy being disingenuous, uh, disingenuine or whatever that thing is called. Um, yeah, like it, it just feels wrong to me all the time being like, hey, hello everybody, it's here again, Brotato, we're gonna do hardest difficulty, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do um, this character, this character does uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uh, then uh, the, the Difficulties A, B, C, D, F, G, and then I'm gonna explain again the whole idea about the commenter talking about the rerolls, the whole idea about the commenters talking about like, like, and the thing is that I want to say them. It's not like oh, Sif, just be real every time, say something different. You don't need to repeat yourself. But the thing is, I want to address some things and I want to open up some discussions. And um, yeah, that, that's the main reason why I'm, why I'm why I'm avoiding difficulty things. And also the second thing that I'm the reason why I'm avoiding uh, uh, difficulty things is something that everybody was telling me in the comments the two days ago, which is that. You guys enjoy seeing fun things, and you you guys enjoy having fun. I really enjoy that my community actually is a, a, a bit, not everybody, of course, but a lot of you guys are the similar um, mindset with me that it's more important to have fun in itself in a game than specifically getting um, the feeling of accomplishment through challenging yourself of course some games are exactly that and i am not playing these games i'm not playing games that literally are uh, the, you will feel happy through the accomplishment of beating something challenging that, that that's not fun to me for me fun is just fun it's like 
it's one-to-one -one ratio. How can I say it? I don't need roundabouts. I don't need things that give me dopamine through some other things. I just want to be boom, boom, I win. Yay. Like, okay, it might be like um, a kid mentality. But the thing is that that's what I find fun. And honestly, I think you guys do too. So um, from here on out, once again, as I said, this was the one run of the day. By the way, I hope you guys are listening I hope the voice is audible enough that it's obvious that I'm not salty. I'm just talking about random things. Uh, man, I need to get like a webcam so I can move my hands around and you understand that like, oh, he's happy. Okay, we got it. <laughs> I'm very expressive, by the way. I'm always moving the hand while I'm talking. Nobody's seeing it. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. This time for real, real, real though. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're not already. And don't forget to... Actually, no, that's it. Thanks for the Patreon membership supporters. I really am eager to hear your opinions this time. And uh, yeah, from tomorrow we go back to crazy runs with crazy ideas that, uh, I mean, yeah, that's it pretty much. Thanks for watching, and see you guys around.